uh, the globalists uh, are overrunning the West with third world populations. Uh, why are they doing this? Well, it, it, two, two things uh, we need to know uh, to, to get a perspective on the world is where this cabal wants to take the world and the, then the, the methods they use to take us there. And where they want to take the world, of course, as we well know, is to a, a global um, uh, fascist dictatorship with the end of countries, the end of borders, um, where basically you just have the world government dictating to massive regional blocks, and anything below that is just irrelevant. And one of the great barriers um, to that happening is the people's sense of uh, their own culture, their own country, um, th their own sovereign nation, if you like. And because people if they have a real sense of, 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 of country, and, you know, I, I'm not saying that I'm into all this, but a lot of people are, and this is the point from the Cabal's point of view, um, they will resist giving that power away, say from uh, the United States to the North American Union, in, in, in Britain to, to the European Union. And so the idea is to break down that sense of culture by basically breaking down the culture. And you do that by opening borders to other cultures. Now, I'm not saying one culture is better than another. I'm just trying to explain here what they're doing from their perspective. And that you let um, different cultures pour into, into the, the same area, and suddenly it becomes a cocktail. And there is no single culture anymore that people can identify with, and that is all the time loosening and weakening people's sense of need to resist the uh, giving away of sovereignty to, to unions and to a world government because they've lost the sense of culture that they had before. See, this is why what we're talking about here is happening all over the world because, of course, it's a global agenda. In Europe, the European Union has brought down the borders all over Europe, and every time another country comes into the European Union, their borders come down and, and they're uh, the borders between them and every other country comes down. And so from uh, Eastern Europe, for instance, people pour into Western European countries, and it becomes, again, exactly the same thing, a cocktail of uh, cultures, which eventually becomes just nothing that really is something people can identify And the globalists with. can also play those different groups off against each other. Not only will they give up their rights, but then I see the trendies always counter back. Oh, well, it's like Star Trek, which we know is predictive programming. Uh, oh, you know, we'll all be unified in love. But this isn't some loving world government that we decided to lovingly join. This was covertly built. They now admit it was a, a, a covertly built. And it's authoritarian, dehumanizing, and it's admitted in game is global depopulation. Yeah, exactly. And this is a very, very interesting point, a very important point about uh, playing one off against the other. You know, the, the, the people that pour uh, from, from the, uh, the, the poorer countries into the richer countries uh, uh, through, through the, the borders coming down are just as much um, pawns in this game as those in the countries, uh, the indigenous population that are affected by that. It's not good guys and bad guys we're talking about here. It's, it's different aspects of the human race being used as pawns in the same game. And this is why instead of fighting each other, we need to start uh, looking at what uh, unites us all, which is the fact that we're all the target of this, this cabal, this, this global fascist dictatorship in the, in the making and the very fast making. I mean, we have proof in this country um, a, a few um, months ago now that during the, um, the Blair administration, they were allowing people um, Im immigration uh, into Britain on a scale they weren't admitting to. It came out, one of the people involved uh, blew, blew the whistle on this. And um, what they were actually saying is they wanted to um, have so much immigration into Britain that it would, this is the quote, change British society forever. And in that one quote, we have the prime reason for bringing the borders down. This is what they've done in, in Europe. I mean, the government here now, the new government of Cameron, saying, oh, we must, we must slow down immigration into Britain. But they don't say immigration. They say non-EU immigration because they have absolutely 
no power whatsoever because of the European Union uh, laws now and, and the giving away of sovereignty to stop um, anybody coming in from the European Union in, into Britain. And that's exactly the position they want. They're doing the same in America, of course, as listeners to this program will well know. And so anyone that, that challenges this in, in America, for instance, they're called racist and, and they're, they're targeted by the federal government, as we're seeing in uh, uh, some some states of America have tried, tried to make a stand on this. And it's all orchestrated to break down and destroy a sense of what is it, what is America, of what is Britain, uh, 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 what is all these countries that are targeted.